Hi, this is Shira for InternetMarketingGuru.com, and today I'm going to show you how I create a visual, user-friendly sitemap for my site using a simple plugin. So let's go to my plugins, and we're going to add a new plugin. We're going to type in the name of the plugin in the search bar, and this is searching WordPress for um, free plugins. And here we have. Two, there are lots of options, but we have the Sitemap Generator and the Dagon Design Sitemap Generator Plus. Um, I've just been using the Sitemap Generator, so let's install this. And we're going to activate the plugin. Great, now that we've installed the plugin, Let's take a look at how to edit the settings for the plugin. So we can see that this is right now it's active on my site and where I want to go is to my settings and these are the settings for the plugin. So let's click on that and select our settings. We can select the language the sitemap will be in, how many items per page, the page slug, I'm going to call this Duru uh, Sitemap. Now there are some things that you may want to pay attention to depending on what you have on your site and would like or would not like to display on your sitemap. For example, if you have a category that is called uncategorized, which most, most people have because they never renamed it or deleted it, and that would be category zero, you can exclude that from your sitemap and you can also exclude certain pages so let's say you have some test pages on your site or um, some duplicate pages that are redirecting or uh, canonicalized you can exclude these pages by using the page ID and you can also hide future dated posts so if you have a lot of content created and you have a posting schedule set up and you don't want those to appear in the sitemap before they're posted which you wouldn't so you would um, click on that and then you would decide on what kind of page navigation this is how it's going to look on the sitemap page and so you can decide what you like better and where you want that sitemap uh, navigation to show do you want it to be at the top of the page at the bottom both um, and here I put in the full path to my sitemap my XML sitemap let's update our options now what we need to do is to go and create a page that our sitemap will be viewed on. So I'm going to go to my dashboard and I'm going to add a new page. I'm working with Thesis on WordPress and if you haven't tried out Thesis yet I really recommend it. I love it. And I'm going to call this Duro Sitemap. Let's go to the HTML view and this is my page slug. I can edit it if I want, but it's fine. This is exactly how I put it into the plugin. And now let's put in the code that actually tells the plugin to to work. Just going to make sure we're in HTML view because this is code. If we put it in the visual view, it's not going to work. And that's basically all you need to do. Now we can publish our page. Okay, let's view our page. It's published. And this is our sitemap. We have our posts, we have our categories, and this is the navigation that I selected. So there you have it. We added the Dagon sitemap plugin. We installed it on the site. We edited the settings and set up a page put in the Dagon sitemap code, which is one line, and saved our page with the name, the page slug, is the same as we entered into the plugin settings, and we published our page. So this video is getting kind of long, and I'll show you in another video how to add links to your sitemap page so that people can find it very easily on your site, either in your navigation or in your page footer. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. This is Shira for InternetMarketingGuru.com. Take action and have a great day.